If you say ditch the damn box, I'm ditching the box. We need to prioritize because we're running out of time. And I know that big top was not happening. Make the call. Lion. We're going lion. Okay. Adam, it's the fourth quarter. I just went to right receiver route and caught that ball you was throwing. Thanks, man. <laughs> Roy, how you feeling over there? Gingy had the Britney on the top, so I wanted to go with the court gesture, entertaining Britney. They're bright, fun colors. Where are these colors going? We only have an hour left before we're finished, and Roy wants to have a white wig on the head with some lime green and pink. Is anything lime green and pink on my hairstyle? No. What the hell is his problem? We got these strong, dark colors here, but this headpiece right here, that is not gonna go with it. Roy, what are we doing? Calm down. Good, now drop down on the floor and let's get it together. I had to go and really take charge. You want me to say fuck with red and black? Red and black, okay. Now you know where you're going, right? Never let them see you sweat, kid. So I started to push him, <laughs> started to build a wig, and it seemed like I had to be his cheerleader. Cause you're gonna make it happen. You're gonna make it happen. It started making him feel better, and then I guess his confidence built up a little more, and we finally got a little something going. We had him time check, 49 minutes. All right. See spin again. Is it pretty balanced? Is it too wobbly? That's, I don't want it to be too wobbly. Her head is really small. Her head's really small. It was a different shape head. It wasn't a regular size head. And she kept saying, sorry, sorry. And I was like, oh, it's not your fault that you were born with a small head. Adam, come on. We gotta get this piece on. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God. Get it high. Yeah. I should start working on getting it on your head. Either this or this. Karina mentioned making a bra of hair. I mean, that is fun. Um, I was at a loss for words. I, w I was really nervous. Right now, I, all I see is a hairy chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> having problems right now, Roy. It's not it's not holding up the weight. So I'm putting all the pieces on the head and it's not holding. This is what you gotta do. The foundation is not strong enough. I mean, each piece is dynamic, but all of them together, sure enough, that girl head could not hold it all. I told her, you have to know how to lay your braids and your base. If you don't have a good foundation with your house, the house is gonna fall. Oh my gosh, your boobs look really yes. good. Right. Time's up, guys. Calm <laughs> down. Let's go with me. It's time to rock. Damn. It's time. We barely, barely, barely had enough time to finish. <laughs> Butterflies are just running through me like wow. Oh, nervous. You gonna rock it? Make sure and get the Britney flavor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hair Battle Spectacular. This evening, our stylists are going to show you some of the biggest baddest and most outrageous hairstyles you have ever seen. And to my right, our judges. We have Glenn Jackson, the creator of the Golden Scissors Awards, known in the world of fantasy hair as the king of hair. All right, all right. And next we have the one and only Ursula Stevens, who gave Rihanna her signature cut. Yeah. And last, we have Mr. Nicholas French, a two-time North American winner of the Hairstylist of the Year Award in the avant-garde category. Yeah. Let's get this battle started. Uh, all right. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do my thing. You ready? 
Yeah. I am. I'm gonna push the envelope, I'm gonna push the limit. Now everybody just watch out. I'm about to do my thing. Come on. I am unstoppable. Let's do it, let's do it. Coming up. And battle. Give it up! And then, one stylist will be going home. Spitting on his head, it was just another showboating example of how Malik thinks he is so badass. Show some love for Malik! Allow me to introduce your ringleader! The hat looks really Uncle Samish. I love it. I loved it. I loved it a lot. It looks really Mardi Gras. It does look Mardi Gras. It looks like she just came from Fat Tuesday. And allow me to introduce the ferocious circus lion. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a game. She is the queen of the jungle. She is the lioness. Oh. Hair battle. Who can compete with us? Tame that lion. We are the Wonder Hair Twins. Reactivate! Coming on after Malik and Adam, it was a hard act to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, are you really ready for some circus entertainment? Hey. I'd like to introduce to you our Harlequin model. Enchanting, mysterious, intoxicating. Jamie, is that bra made out of 100% human hair? It absolutely is. Ooh, Ooh that looks vibrant. vibrant. Be touched. Oh, Jamie, it's really getting hot in here. Is this a fire blower? This is some right, right. right. Vegas showgirl. Wow. Blow your fire. The Britney Circus video that I seen, it was a lot of fire blowers. Blow your fire! So, instead of fire coming out of her mouth, it came out of her hair. I am so hot. It's really hot. Oh my God, I'm heated. She came for something. Yep. <laughs> Too bad she ain't gonna meet you with it. <laughs> it's really fun being in front of a crowd. It's feeling the energy, and it's part of doing fantasy hair. I enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> Welcome. This is the Moulin Rouge of the circus. Give it up for the hair extraordinaire, Roy B and Ginger. It's leaning to the side. There's no structural integrity with that. I mean, she's holding it up. She ain't holding it up. When I looked at Ginger's hair, it looked like a vomit of hair. That poor model having to hold up her hair. Brittany, watch the back. Don't worry about them. Here comes Miss Isn't she lovely? What is the continuity between two 